Good morning, good morning. This is Jacqueline Richard Simmons, JJ Diamond, Jackie Deja, whatever y'all call me. Ooh, we got to thank God for being alive another day. You know, these days, these days, it's, 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 it's looking real ugly, people. You know, let's check out the weather today here in Charlotte. Alexa, volume up to 50%. Alexa, what's the weather today? Right now in Charlotte, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies and sun. Throughout the day, you can expect more of the same, with a high of 68 degrees and a low of 37 degrees. Well, we're going to have a pretty nice day. We've been having pretty good days recently. Um, but that's Charlotte for you. You know, we get hot here early. Um, not as hot as Florida, but the weather warms up uh, pretty early in seasons. Uh, in the late winter, early spring. Uh, today, people, I want to talk about obedience. Um, obedience. It's something that a lot of people don't have, you know. Um, honesty, trust, you know. Um, it, it's sad, you know. It's sad when we look at our country and how the people of our country are. It's just really, you know, unreal. <laughs> Uh, I want to bring to y'all right now, um, I want to talk about, you know, how people can get frustrated and say enough is enough, you know, um, people get tired, you know, and I want to, I want to bring this to play, you know, our president, President Biden, you know, just came in office, you know, y'all voted him in. You know, y'all was the ones that said, you know, we need him. He, we need him to help us. We need him for this. We need him for that. But yet and still, y'all not following the rules <laughs> that he's asking y'all to follow. This man is getting fed up. You know, he's tired now, you know. Um, he's starting to call y'all out y'all names. You know, he's just doing it in a more intelligent way. You know, he's doing the same thing Trump did, but a little bit more um, professional, <laughs> okay? And I got to laugh, you know, I have to laugh because people get fed up, and that's just the bottom line. People get fed up, and they get tired, and now he understands why Trump was doing the things that he was doing. You know, sometimes you don't understand your role until you walk into a person's shoes, you know what I mean? If he would have known that he was dealing with an America that just don't obey or do what they supposed to do, you know, they always think it's the leader, but it's not always the leader. You know, sometimes it's the, 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 um, the, the people around, you know, and see, that's the problem. You know, they are recognizing that it's not y'all always complaining, but y'all the problem. How can y'all complain when y'all the problem? You don't want stability in our country. You don't want stability for yourself. You get angry about everything, okay? And then you, you still don't want to obey the rules of the country. I mean, how dare you? And that's in any life situation. I mean, it's like everybody wants to do everything the wrong way, you know? They never want to look at the facts of anything and say, why is this being done? Why is this like this? Because this is the way it was designed. And if anybody that's, that, that knows, God is about obedience. So if you call yourself a, 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 a Christian or... um Loving God so, you need to work on your obedience, okay? Because obedience, and, and I tell people all the time, discipline is the key. If you don't have obedience and discipline, life is going to be very, very hard for you, okay? And that's just what it is, okay? Now, the government told us that, the vaccines is out here. Okay, granted, a lot of us don't want to take the vaccines, especially people like myself. I have uh, allergic reactions to a lot of different things, um, a lot of different medications, um, and I can't take that risk. 
of taking something that can actually reverse in my body and harm me more than it can help me. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is why I try to stick with the medicines that I know works for me, you know, and I try not to take medicines so much so my body won't get immune to it. Now, granted, okay, the biggest fear is, and, and this is why they're trying to tell you how to take the Johnson & Johnson, okay? Even though Johnson & Johnson has less, less um, power, okay, it will be more effective because you get it one time, okay? Where with the other ones, you have to take two doses. So the first dose may not be effective enough to cover you until you get that second dose. Okay? So when you take the Johnson & Johnson, that's, that's less effective. It's actually more effective because you get it one time and it's more effective one time than it would be if you had to get a two-dose shot. Do y'all get it? No, nah, I just want to explain it to y'all. I want y'all to understand. Okay. So that first shot that you took didn't give you the full effectness. Okay. To help you get through this thing. Okay. This is why they're asking us to continue to wear our mask because the people are not fully protected because you only got half of what you needed. Do y'all get it? That should be common sense. Okay. But <laughs> a lot of people don't have common sense and they're running out here, even though the countries, the, uh, the states are opening up. They're running out here and the numbers are going down and they still not wearing their mask. Okay. Now, they haven't broke down to us how this particular virus breaks down your organs. Okay. This is why people die. Some people were able to fight it off. People were walking around with the COVID, didn't even know it. Okay? However, it still does damage to the body. They told us that it can actually take away your life expectancy because your body has been through damage because of this virus. This is why they needed to move fast with a vaccine. But because y'all don't listen, y'all still going out there doing whatever y'all want to do because y'all don't believe. And then 10 years from now, when one of your organs fail you and you, you, cause you say you've been eating right and you've been doing right, but you wasn't protecting yourself. You can't blame the government because they told you. They told you. They were honest. So with that being said, the ball is in your court. Granted, yes, the president don't want to cause chaos in our country with arresting people. And then we got to deal with the, the Black Lives Matter. And we got to deal with all of the drama of the police harassing people. He don't want to go that route. He's trying not to go that route. But then again, he has to protect the other citizens of his country. Okay, this man came through the door signing paperwork to protect America. He wasn't on the job one hour. To help you people. You know, the, the most he can, he, I mean, the most y'all can give him in return is obedience. He's allowing you people to breathe. Okay? What part y'all don't understand? This stuff is serious. This is why every company, every car company out here has an electric car. 
Because the exhaust fumes are killing us. The factories are killing us. It's breaking down the ozone layer. I'm so tired of explaining this stuff to y'all. But now he gets why I don't want to be bothered with it no more. I don't care no more. If you don't care about yourself, why should I care about you? Okay? If you want to be disobedient and, and not listen to what I'm telling you, why should I even care? But then that's not fair for the other people that do want to follow or be obedient. Okay? And then this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the kicker. In your class. This is the kicker. I got to quiet down, y'all. Egypt is on her class. This is the kicker. First, it was the white people out there doing it. Now, it's the black people out there doing it. Why couldn't y'all show, let me talk about the black people, more obedience over the white people when y'all had the chance to do it? To pretty much, I'm not saying to prove yourself, but they always say how our people are not obedient. And this was the time to show that. So whatever the white people do, that's what y'all going to do? Even if the government says don't do it? I just, you know, I don't know what they're going to do about this country. It don't look real good for y'all. I'm going to just say that, you know, and that's why a lot of us is going to be leaving the country because it doesn't look real good. It doesn't look good at all. Y'all got it twisted, you know. They say to me, oh, you act like you're white. No. I'm obedient and disciplined. If that's acting white, then okay. But I see a lot of whites that's not obedient and disciplined. So with that being said, how is it that I'm white? Don't categorize me with a race. You categorize me by what you see. And these are the things that Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Obama, and, and, and um, the rest of them. I, it could go on and on and on, but those are the main ones that fought for us. The ones that were disciplined and obedient. But then y'all quick to say, we don't get the love that we deserve because you're not disciplined and obedient. Now, you know, Biden called on, you know, a lot of the leaders of the ground, you know, and some of them, you know, instead of them following, they decided to do the opposite and think it's okay. (laughs) I just shake my head, you know, I just shake my head. (sighs) I don't know what they're going to do with y'all. I really don't. And at this point, I personally don't care no more. I just needed to, to show how, even though Trump was an a-hole, Why he was an a hole? (laughs) He had to be because you people don't respect nothing other, and Biden is starting to realize that as well. The man that y'all voted in, and I mess with Biden because he came through the door thinking about our well being. He did. But when this thing is all said and done, 
he's going to be talking to y'all just how Trump was talking to y'all. Because y'all ignorant. Y'all ignorant. He can't afford right now to put all his troops out there to make y'all obey because we got people shooting targets at us from Iran. That's his main focus, protecting the whole country. But are y'all paying attention? No. No. Then he's trying to get a trillion dollar package released for you people. Do y'all deserve it? This is what the Republicans are saying. They don't deserve that. And you fighting for these people. You the idiots. So Biden had to get one off and I get it. I get it. Sometimes you got to get one off. Because you got to get that negative feeling off your chest. When you bending over backwards to help people and they making you look real bad. Biden, if you're listening, I go through it all the time, all the time. Where I, I'm helping people through thick and thin. No matter what, even if it stops my life. And you get the backlash for trying to help them, for trying to extend your arm and do a job that God asks you to do. I commend you. And it's wrong what they're doing. And I don't knock you. If you got on the TV right now and called them every Emma Effa, whatever you, how you felt, I would respect it. I would respect it. Because these people are sick. And we don't know how to fix it. We've been trying, you know, you see people on the Facebook, on the Instagram, on the Twitter. We're trying to put out positive messages. We're trying to talk to the people, you know, we're trying to get them to see the reality of life and what is really worth, but they don't even care about that. I had a person tell me, pretty much tell me they don't even love themselves. They have lost the value of self-worth and love in America. All they know is hatred. All they know is, is chaos, drama. I would prefer to go back to the drug era. Okay, where everybody was high off of something. Because these people are sick. And that's what it really boils down to. Their mentalities are like a Neanderthal. <laughs> just like Biden said. And I had to laugh because, you know, my mama, God bless her, God bless Tina. My mama used to call people Neanderthals on a regular, you know. So when he said that, it like a light bulb came out, came on in my head, you know. And I'm like, whoa, he getting tired already. And it's only three months in. Whoa, you know, that was kind of deep for me. You know, even even though, you know, I'm I'm obeying, I I wear my mask, you know, because I'm fear of, of, of getting sick, period. You know, I wish we was able to wear masks all the time, you know, but we wear masks, you know, they may think we're robbing someplace, you know. So I personally like the, the fact that I have to wear a mask. And you know, sometimes I need to take it off if my nose is all stopped up and breathe. You know, but for the most part, I know I need to keep it on to keep myself safe. Because we don't know what these viruses are doing. And then we have another one. 
We have another one. And y'all not even paying attention to that. It just, you know, seems to amaze me that how so many people, it's not just a couple of people. It's so many people that just don't love their lives. And then they want to make you a part of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're not making me a part of it. I just, you know, I I hate to watch my people be looked at so badly because they choose, you know, not to do what's right. You know, know, that's why I did that song, Your World, Your Choices. You know, (laughs) you got some people out here that really sincerely want to help mentally and physically. And then you have some people out here that just want to live on the edge. You know, but it looks bad to our for our country. It looks bad to our our, um, children that's coming up. This is not how things are supposed to be. They're trying to teach us now how to have our children protected by the time they're 18 years old. Because of the things that's going on out here. Y'all need to pay attention. Okay? Because... People are tired. You're tired. Now, worst thing y'all can do, and I'm going to be honest with you, is stress Biden out too much to where he has to step down and let Kamala Harris take spot. Because she's a woman. And women are emotional. I tried to tell y'all this before. Women are very emotional. It's hard sometimes for them to stand ground with obedience. This is why when the military used to recruit people, they always looked for men because men had more discipline. Certain areas where women should be and certain areas where women shouldn't be. I'm not saying that a woman can't be a president, but she has to be emotionless. In order to be a president. Okay. So that's my biggest fear. And I'm going to just be honest with you. Because I know how I can get. When I get emotional. Or people are not listening. And I'm I'm trying my hand over and over. And figure out. Try to figure out everything possible. To do right by somebody. And all they doing is giving me their butt to kiss. Now it's war. Okay. So. The things that y'all could be asking for can be worse than what y'all think it is. Okay? So I just want to bring that to y'all attention. You know, as women, (laughs) we can snap at any given moment depending on what time of the month it is. You got to thank God for that. That's why he put us in the place that we we were supposed to be in. And that was to care for the homes and care for the, the family and stand ground in our home. Okay? Granted, times has changed. We got to go out and work these days, you know, and deal with the people. And that makes it even worse. Because now we're doing double the job that God asks us to do. Which put more straight stress and more negative emotions in our bodies and minds. Which can create us to snap. It can make you snap. And just think of a woman that's dealing with a bunch of people like y'all on a daily basis, trying their hand daily. Y'all don't think she may not snap? <laughs> okay. See, men, they lash out with their mouths. They talk crap. You know, and Biden is getting, he's getting, he's getting into it now. You know, he's learning, 
You know, I'm going to have to release this somewhere, some way, somehow. So he's already getting into the groove of things. And we might hear something else later on. He might say something else. Okay, because he's he going to get into the groove of it. Or calling y'all what he see. Okay? So, if y'all stress him out too bad, but he can't take it no more, he has to step down. Now we got to bring this woman in. I have nothing against Kamala. But she's a woman. And our emotions run deep. So, <laughs> I say that to say, y'all better watch the tree <laughs> that y'all barking up. <laughs> y'all better watch it. Because it's getting real ugly. Because they gave y'all a second chance by recruiting this new president. And y'all still not doing what is required of y'all. To keep a civilized country. So what's next? We don't know. What will be the decisions of our president to make sure that the rest of these people come out alive. Because they have lost so many people. And see, this is not just a, <laughs> this is what made me laugh because you, all you can do is laugh about it, you know, even though it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. What makes me laugh about it is this is just not America. It's the whole world. And y'all still not paying attention. It's not something that just America is going through. The whole world is going through this. Did you think that they came and sat down at the table and said, okay, we're going to plan this disease for the whole world? I don't think so. That just don't sound right. So we can kill off a certain amount of people in the world? No. No. This thing is real. I need y'all to understand that what the president's role is. Okay. The president's role is to fight for us, protect us. But he also deserves the respect given for taking on that job. Okay? To lead us. To hear our cry. And if y'all are not doing that, the president starts to feel unworthy and then no longer wants to fight for you. Okay? When people get tired of fighting for you, the other party wins. Okay? Uh, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to take this up a notch. God and the devil. When God is trying to fight for you and you keep doing everything possible negatively and not, not recognizing God's grace, he stops fighting for you. See, we was taught these things by God. This is why it was implemented. Okay? This is just why it was implemented. Because it's in the Bible and it shows 
a form of obedience and love for the people. When Jesus died on the cross, he got tired because he had he had his little army as well. They could have went in and fought it off, but they didn't. He took it with grace and said, I'm tired of fighting. So if y'all going to nail me to these stakes, then so be it. Because they know not what they do. Okay. He got tired. So I just, I I want you to understand that people get tired of the nonsense. Now, if you don't know how to obey, let me tell you how to obey. You know, some people say, well, I don't understand. I don't know. (coughs) Let me tell you what obey, obedience means. Now, y'all can look it up. Okay, but maybe y'all don't comprehend it. I don't know. Obedience means that you follow the rules. That's what it means. You follow the rules. It don't it doesn't mean throw your ego up and say because I have power, I have I can make my own decisions. I'm not going to follow the rules. It says, just follow the rules. Because if you follow the rules, you'll be happier. I mean, sometimes you won't, you know, to an extent, you know. Because some places and some companies don't understand people that follow the rules. I had that problem here when I first came to Charlotte, you know. But they wasn't used to people following the rules, you know. So when they met me, it's like, okay, I told you this. I told you that this is the way I needed to be or you needed to be. This is what you said you needed. Don't make it don't make it difficult. The reason why there's rules in place is so everybody will be happy. That's the purpose of it. If there's rules, you follow the rules, everybody should be happy. But people are so used to chaos and drama, they forgot the rules that was implemented. So they coming at you with chaos because they forgot the rules that was implemented. I'm going to use this for instance. Now, up in Maryland, you know, we have decks. We barbecue on decks, you know. We have have it in place where if your house is a certain amount of feet off the, you know, the deck is a certain amount of feet off of the uh, house, you can barbecue, you know. Um, they started taking away the propane thing because propane can actually blow up. Now, I come from... You know, a family that we didn't use propane when we barbecued because our grill was implanted into our wall. We used charcoal, so that's all I ever known. And then I got into a relationship with a mate that was like, ugh, we're not using propane. (laughs) That stuff can kill you. And I'm like, okay, even on your food. And I'm like, yeah, that's true. You know, it's gases, you know. And then if the gases are not being released properly because there's some type of malfunction, it can make you sick. You know, people use it and buy it anyway. I learned that it was okay to barbecue three feet off of your house, of your, you know, of your door, the building. So, you know, HOAs kept coming to me saying, you can't barbecue. I'm like, well, I looked up the information. It's in black and white. And it says this, 
Okay. Don't you know this HOA representative didn't even know what a charcoal grill was. And I had to laugh. And it physically says in their rules up there in Raleigh with the governor, Cooper. It physically says it. (laughs) And she didn't comprehend that because she didn't know what a regular grill was. A regular charcoal grill was. And caused chaos. Every time she come around, she caused chaos. To where I got tired. And I kept telling her, I said, listen here, ma'am. I said, it's not my fault that you're not, um, you haven't been trained to comprehend what you read. But I'm not going to keep arguing with you. Okay? Because you're trying to prove a point, but your point is not valid because that's not what it says in the government's eyes. Okay? And it says the same thing it says in Maryland. So this goes, I guess it's across every state when they made this particular rule when they sat down. Okay? Now me, I don't like drama. I don't like chaos. But don't come at me with something that you created and then you want to say that what you put in black and white was wrong. Okay? Don't 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 do that because you asked me to follow the rules. I'm following the rules of the government. If you want to tell people that on your facility that you don't want people to barbecue, then that's to your discretion. But when it comes to the government, they're not saying that. Okay? So people have to check what they do, you know, and what they say. And this is why some of us don't obey because we're actually obeying and you're not paying attention. And this is, this is for the government side. You ask us to obey, we obey, and then we get backlash. So what, what's the purpose of obeying if I'm going to feel pain anyway? Now, anybody that loves pain is sick. We all know that. You got to be sick. Nobody should love pain. Now, back when I was coming up, if you was a person that, um, what they call self-mutilation, you were sick. It's the same thing. You may not be hurting yourself physically with a weapon, but if you're hurting yourself by not thinking or not obeying, it's still, you're sick. There's something wrong there. Now, if you're doing this to try to understand something, you know, sometimes, and and see, this is why I watch people, you know, Or if you're doing something to cause chaos. But let me tell you something. The end result. Is going to be that you conflicted the pain on yourself. When you look back. Okay. Some people just lazy. They don't. they, They don't care. You know. Oh I'm not following nothing. I'm just. I'm just here. I saw a post the other day where this guy was saying, um, it was funny because he was saying, oh, you know, your parents is always saying this and saying that, but I wasn't asked to be brought here. True. You wasn't. But once you hear and you've been taught and learned happiness, it's your choice after that. It's your choice whether or not you choose to live in happiness. It's your choice on how you deal with things. 
how you react to things, how you speak to people. How you deal with certain situations. And why the end result is failure. These are things that y'all have to think about. Now, we have to work with the government (coughs) so they can see that we are deserving of anything that they give us. Don't you know, (coughs) if you're on Medicaid and you catch cancer, for instance, There's certain medications you will not get. Certain uh, treatments you will not get. Don't y'all think that when they sign that paper. Saying, okay, no, they're not going to get this. It's because they felt like the people wasn't deserving. Not because the monies are just not there. Now, we've been training these people how to do this, how to do that, how to do this. We've been asking them, get tested, do this, do that. You're just not deserving. That's why it's not in in the papers, in in the um, <clears throat> in the documentation, because you're just not deserving. Biden is fighting for every state to make sure that their minimum wage is fifteen dollars an hour or higher. You have companies right now. That's hiring people at $15 an hour because they don't want that battle. We'd rather hire them at $15 an hour now than later on things to get worse. <coughs> Even here in Charlotte, I'm hearing companies saying, hey, it's $15 an hour we're paying. Come on. Before it becomes minimum wage. $15 an hour is no money, people. It's still no money. Especially when you're paying thousands of dollars for rent. Okay? Car notes. Gas and electric. Food. So we're still going to be in a poverty level. Unless you have a second job, two people uh, managing money together, whatever the case may be. It's still in the poverty level. Right above it. A little bit above it. You want to come out of the poverty level, you, you need to make 30000 or better. And that's just the facts. Meaning you can pay your rent three times if you miss the week of work. That's when you're no longer in poverty. When you can pay your bills three times, even if you had to take a week off of work. Because you got sick. Without sick pay. You have no worries. This is why Biden shut down the people that's making $80,000 a year. To get no um, stimulus. Because even if you have a $2,000 mortgage, you can pay that three times. And see, this is what they do. They, they, <coughs> this is how they figure it out.
What's wrong? I'm still on my podcast. Okay. I'll, I'll shut it down shortly. Give me a moment. Huh? Um, about, give me 10 minutes. I just want to explain to them about the way. Okay. See, the problem is a lot of people lived above their means. Okay. A lot of people, that's what they do. They live above their means. Okay. And. That's what makes it so difficult for people to, you know, um, function on a, on a, say a salary of 30 grand a year. Okay. Cause you know, people want peace, so they want to live in a nice area. So they're willing to sacrifice a certain amount of money for say they rent or they mortgage, you know, um, People have families, you know, in order to buy a family vehicle, meaning an SUV or a van, okay, these vehicles cost above, um, most of the time, above $30,000, okay? Um, if you want a nice, nice one, okay, and it's brand new, <clears throat> you may find one for about twenty grand, and it's all said and done, a family car. Okay, so when you look at the average person in poverty, they can't meet those needs three times. Who fought is that? It's really. What's the problem, Egypt? I want to get through this because they need to understand this. What is this workout? Huh? Okay, we'll join it. What? So me and you can go out and work out? What? Three. Oh, okay. Can I finish this, please? The longer you you don't let me finish. But I lost my train of thoughts. <laughs> I tell you, Egypt can be a piece of work, y'all. It makes it very difficult for me to explain some stuff to y'all, you know. Um, but y'all need to understand these things, you know. And this is why I try to give y'all some insight. You can't live above your means. That's just the bottom line, okay. And like I was saying, who fault is it? It's really not. It. <sighs> I don't want to say it's the government's fault. I don't want to say that it's the employer's fault. I don't want to say that it's, I'm going to say this. When the rules were put in place, (laughs) see, this is where, where, where the government messes up at. This is their biggest issue that I see. Okay. When they put rules into place, they never look back at those other rules that they put in place. Okay, so like, I'm going to use this for instance. When you move into an area, all of the houses in that area is worth a certain amount of money. Just like when you move into an area and rent an apartment. In a certain area, apartments are supposed to cost a certain amount of money. But then they always have in place on different, um, you know, different rules that landlords can raise rent based on this, raise rent based on that. In this particular area... Um, okay, I, I'm gonna use this for instance. I live on the east side of Charlotte, okay? East side of Charlotte is very close to the suburbs, okay? But the most expensive part of Charlotte is in the city, okay? So, when you look at the statues of things, If I want to live in a city, I'm going to spend three times more than if I lived near the suburbs. However, moving to the suburbs 
is a little bit more expensive than residing right outside the suburbs. Okay, it doesn't make sense because the suburbs are supposed to be the, the nicer place to live. But the 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 cost of living is not as high if it was if you was living in a city. Okay. You want less people to live in a city because you want less traffic in a city due to tourists coming in visiting. But they think the opposite because you got to look at the, the, the residents and when people come in to visit or businesses or whatever the case may be. OK, so you got to look at both sides of it. They don't look at that. So. They say, okay, well, if you want, this is what we'll do so you won't live in a city is we'll raise the, the, the rates up so high to where you're going to either say, look, I can't do this in a city thing. It's just it's too much money. I'm leaving. And then you got some people that will pay it just to live in a city. Okay. So. But these people are making the money to do that. They can make three times, pay their bills three times um, in a month, taking a week off of work with no pay. That's actually comfortable living. Okay, but the way we're brought up here in America is we have to have this, we have to have that, we have to have everything in the world, and then we become, how can I say, broke. As long as we got, we're accustomed to, as long as we got a roof over our head, our cars outside, uh, gas is in our car. We got food in our house. We okay with it. Being broke. But then when stuff go down or you get sick, what are you to do? You still got to live. The bill collectors are still going to call. They still want their money. And this is why they said, meaning the government, when I say they, they said, hey, we understand. We're going to give you a stimulus. But now at this point, they're saying, do they really deserve it? If y'all think back a month ago, I mean, a a year ago, when Trump got on the TV and said, well, we shut the country down. We're going to give y'all people some stimulus. We had them stimulus checks in a matter of hours. They had already signed off on them before we even knew about it. He just had to come tell us. Now you're being disrespectful. I ask you to leave. Please leave. I'll be done shortly. You're stopping me from getting through this podcast. Now the people are hearing you. Yes, they are. They they, they, they hear what you're doing? Egypt. So I'm talking to myself. Oh, I am? All right. Anyway. People. You see the dumb stuff that they teach these kids? <laughs> <laughs> anyway I'm going to end this podcast I just needed to explain these things to y'all because we don't want Biden to get to the point where he's going to treat us like Trump did okay because he will because he's going to get tired and that's what y'all pushing him to for him to use a word such as Neanderthal I would have rather him said you dumb mother Ethos than to call people Neanderthals. Okay, because Neanderthal is a little bit worse than a dumb Emma. Pretty much well, could possibly mean the same thing. But to an extent. I'm not mad about it because I'm not the one that is out there being disobedient. But for him to call my people that, it you know, I, I, it doesn't bother me, but it tells me what I'm facing in my country, okay? 
if my president feels that the people that that he see are Neanderthals, I need to pay pay more attention. And they are in the reality of things. Very unintelligent. Because they've been telling us everything. Everything. From state to state, we got presidents talking. We got the governors talking. We have doctors talking to us. What is his name? Um, I forgot his name. Every time I see his face on the TV, I stop everything. The guy from Allergy and Asthma Control. Uh, I forget his name. But every time I see his face, I have to stop everything and listen. Because he's the key. If he don't feel right about something and he's a doctor, then I don't feel right about something. When he start feeling comfortable, then I'll feel comfortable. And then if the president goes behind him and enforces it, I'm going to obey. And see, the problem is a lot of y'all probably don't have TV. And I get it. But guess what? You can watch it on YouTube. Just pull it up, y'all. Pull it up on your phone and see what's going on. All you got to do is Google Dr. Forsey. That's his name. <laughs> Couldn't remember it. Google Dr. Fawcett or Google what the president is saying today. That's what you got to do. The the president's last speech. So you can hear what's going on in the world. Dr. Fawcett's last speech. Because they put it all on YouTube for those that may not have TV. So y'all can see what's going on and understand what's going on. Some of y'all relying on Facebook to get the information. But you might miss some things. So do it yourself and Google it. So you can learn to obey and be disciplined. So we can all get through this thing. Because we still got about a year to go. Because we got to make sure that the, the, the vaccine actually holds. The numbers may be going down, down now. But who says after the vaccine goes away, it may go away in the body. I was one that every time I took one type of vaccine, it would disappear in my body. And I have to keep getting it over and over like I'm a kid. I got to keep getting a a, a shot in my arm. Because it no longer exists in my body. So, yeah, these are the things that they have to prepare for. And we have to be careful of. This stuff is real. This is Jacqueline Richardson, it's JJ Diamond, Jackie, Deja, whatever y'all call me. I love some of you guys, the ones that want to do right, but the rest of y'all, I just can't, I can't extend my heart to y'all. No longer. Because I see how things are going, you know, and I always say, you know, I love you guys, all you guys, but I can't do that because if you're not loving yourself, I can't love you. Because I'm not Jesus Christ and I'm not... I'm not God. That, that was their place. That was their job. I can only do some things that God asked me to do. I can't do, I can't do it all because I'm feeling the pain. I'll talk to y'all soon.